Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. Today's video is going to be a whole house clean with me. So I'll be working my way through the house, room by room, cleaning and dusting, doing laundry, cleaning bathrooms, and just getting a lot done in today's video. So I hope that you enjoy and that it can give you a lot of cleaning motivation and inspiration today. And I'm hoping this voiceover goes well. I just got Invisalign on my teeth the other day. So I'm still trying to learn how to talk without a lisp, so hopefully this voiceover goes well. But here at the beginning of the video, I am just walking you through the house and showing you some of the mess. The house wasn't too messy, but we are just going to be doing like my weekly cleaning routine of cleaning the floors and the stove, the sink, all the stainless steel appliances in the kitchen doing some mopping, cleaning bathrooms, just all of those things. So starting off first thing in the morning, I got a load of laundry going. When I have a whole day of cleaning like this, or if it's Monday, which is laundry day, I will get that first load of laundry started first thing in the morning. That way, hopefully I can have all of the laundry finished and put away by that evening. So once that load of laundry was started, I got started on breakfast and I had seen this recipe on Instagram reels the night before and I wanted to try it. And I was thinking that I had blueberries in the fridge, but I didn't have any blueberries. So it didn't quite turn out how it was supposed to, but this was a Dutch baby recipe. So you blend it in the blender and then just pour it into an iron skillet and bake it in the oven. It wasn't too bad, we all did like it, but it wasn't the best thing we've ever had. I probably won't make it again, or maybe I'll just try a different Dutch baby recipe once I have some fruit that we could put on top. But after breakfast, I just went ahead and got started on cleaning the kitchen. I was going to start in the kitchen today. When I'm doing a whole house cleaning, I like to get one room completely finished before I move on to the next room. And it varies which room I start in, but today I wanted to just go ahead and start here in the kitchen. Let me know down in the comments what you are working on today or if you want to share some cleaning tips down in the comments those are always fun to read through i always love reading through all of your comments and in the last cleaning video you guys shared so many good cleaning tips down in the comments so feel free to do that again pausing here to fill up my cup with ice and water for the morning and Levi wanted his cup filled with water as well. This is usually when I take my vitamins for the day so I'm going to go ahead and take those. I take Ritual Vitamins and I've been taking them for almost four years now and Ritual is sponsoring this portion of today's video so a big thank you to them. These Ritual Vitamins provide me with nine high quality nutrients from D3 to Omega-3. They are vegan friendly, non-GMO, sugar free, gluten free, and allergen free. I love that Ritual is so transparent about where they source their ingredients from. The vitamins have no shady additives or fillers you know exactly what is going in your body when you take these. Ritual vitamins get delivered to my door monthly and if you want to try them out as well, you can get 20% off your first month with Ritual by going to ritual.com slash hannahappy-20 or at checkout you can just use my code hannahappy-20. Okay, so I'm continuing to work at getting the kitchen cleaned up. It wasn't too messy though. We have been trying to keep up with somewhat of a daily cleaning routine, just trying to maintain the house every day and tidy up when we can. I had shared some of our cleaning routine in my last cleaning video, but just starting off the day by making your bed can be really helpful because that will give you the motivation to continue tidying up throughout the day. 
and then just pick up as you go throughout the day. If everyone just tries to pick up after themselves, put things away as soon as you're done using it, like instead of throwing your clothes across the bed, just hang them up or fold them and put them in the drawer. It only takes a few seconds more and I've noticed that as soon as I start just throwing stuff on the bed or whatever, instead of taking a few extra seconds to put it where it goes, it kind of is a domino effect and I'll just continue doing that throughout the day. But something else that's really helpful that I talked about in my last cleaning video as well is to do a quick family pickup before the kids go to bed. So you can set a timer for like 10 or 15 minutes and have everyone run through the house putting things away. Jalen and I will wash the dishes, wipe off the counters, the boys will tidy up their room, vacuum the kitchen, and doing those quick cleanups before bed can really help. You can relax that evening and wake up to a mostly clean house in the morning. We try to keep things tidied up most days because we love having a clean, cozy house, but life gets busy, especially with kids, and it doesn't happen every day but just trying to keep up with somewhat of a daily cleaning routine can really help things to not get overwhelming. So usually I always do laundry on Monday. Monday is laundry day, but for this video, I just combined my weekly cleaning and daily cleaning into one day but I did recently make somewhat of a weekly cleaning routine just to help me to be able to maintain the house every week because it can be so hard to keep up with it all sometimes to keep the bathrooms clean and the toilets, the floors, it can be overwhelming. So a routine can really help. My routine is, like I said, Monday is laundry day and then Tuesday I wash bedding but I don't do all the bedding in one day, it's every other week. So one week I'll wash our bedding on Tuesday and then the next week I'll wash the boys bedding on Tuesday and so on. Wednesday is the day I'll do any deep cleaning that needs done in the kitchen, like cleaning the front of the stove, the front of the fridge, wipe down the cabinets, just whatever I have time for at some point that day. I'll clean something extra like that in the kitchen. If I have a lot of extra time, I'll do everything. If I only have a few minutes, I'll just like at least clean the stove that day. Thursday is bathrooms. So again, whatever I have time for that day, if it's just cleaning all the toilets and quickly wiping down the sinks, or maybe I just wanna focus on cleaning one of the bathrooms, but Thursday is bathrooms. And then Friday is floors. So again, whatever I have time for, if I just wanna mop the tile and bathrooms, or just mop the kitchen or main area of the house or everything, but Friday is floors. And that is my weekly cleaning routine. Some weeks I'll stick with it, some weeks maybe not, but making a routine that works for you will make your life a bit easier and help to maintain the house in the long run. I was showing you there earlier that I went out front to water my little planters that I have on the front porch. Those are right outside the kitchen window and I'm trying to grow my own salad in those planters. So I've got spinach and greens and mixed greens, different types of salad greens in those planters. So hoping that those grow well, they are starting to grow. I'm getting a lot of little plants out there. So hoping they continue to grow and I can just have my own salad to harvest right there on the front porch. It had been a while since I wiped down the backsplash in the kitchen, so I wanted to get that done while I was cleaning the kitchen today. And now I'm starting to clean the cooktop and I'm using my favorite Cerama Bright cooktop cleaner. I get this on Amazon, I'll put the link for it down below, but I just put that on the cooktop, spread it around, and then you'll let it sit for about 10 minutes, just depending on how dirty your cooktop is. While I was letting that sit on there, I went ahead and got started on cleaning all of the stainless steel items in the kitchen using my favorite stainless steel cleaner from Method. You guys see me use this all the time. I really love it and a little bit goes a long way. This is a small bottle, but it will last me for several months, almost six months, just because a little bit does go a long way. 
So I started off by cleaning the vent hood. That had a lot of grease up there, even though it didn't look like it on camera. And then I cleaned the front of the dishwasher, the front of the fridge, and then lastly, our trash can. Last thing I'm going to clean in the kitchen is Levi's high chair. I have loved this high chair. It's a great little size and doesn't take up a lot of space. It's really easy to clean. It's cute. That tray just pops right out and you can put that in the dishwasher or just scrub it in the sink is what I usually do. And it just makes it really easy to clean. So now that the kitchen is clean, I headed back to Levi's room and there wasn't much cleaning to do back here. Just a quick tidy up. I wanted to vacuum the floors. And then I'll also quickly clean the bonus room and the hall bathroom because it was almost his nap time. And so I wanted to get this side of the house done. That way he could go down for a nap and I could head over and work on the other side of the house. I was trying to keep up with the laundry throughout the day because if I don't stay on top of it, it will drag on for two days. I'll forget I have clothes in the washer or the dryer. If I don't stay on top of it all day, I will not get it done in one day. But there was only about three loads of laundry on this day, so I was able to have all of that folded and put away by the end of the day which is so nice when you can just get it done in one day like that. And I also love being able to hang some of the clothes outside. The weather has been so nice lately and the clothes dry really quickly outside, almost quicker than they dry in the dryer sometimes. And I always do get questions about that retractable clothesline, so I will have the link for it down below. It's a really good price and we have loved it. We've had it for... I think it's been about two years now so now I'm going to start working on the boys bathroom which is this little bathroom that we have here in the laundry room and this is also the bathroom that guests will use when they come over and we were going to be having guests that weekend so I wanted to give this bathroom a good deep cleaning because as you can see it was in desperate need of a good deep cleaning especially the shower the boys play outside all day. We live in the desert, so they're playing in the dirt and the mud and the dust and everything. And so when they come inside, the floor can get pretty dirty in here. So I really needed to scrub the grout and the shower. So first off, I dumped the trash out of the trash can and then I shook out that rug on the floor and you could see just how much dirt was in that rug. So I wanted to vacuum the floor before I got started cleaning. That way I wasn't just walking all over the dirt the whole time. But first I wanted to clean the vacuum because the dustbin was full. So I emptied that out 
and then also the brush on the bottom of the vacuum was so full of hair and fuzzies and everything so I got the scissors and tried to clean that up a bit just so that it could vacuum a bit better then I went ahead and gathered all of the cleaning supplies that I would need to clean this bathroom and also my bathroom over on the other side of the house and then just got started cleaning and this did take me a little while. I didn't film a lot of cleaning the shower and all of that just because there's not a whole lot of camera angles that I can get in here because it's such a small bathroom. But I did take about 30 minutes here just to really scrub this bathroom, starting from the top and working my way down, starting up there with a light fixture, getting that dusted. It was covered in dust and everything, so I scrubbed that for a little while and then moved on to the sink, the toilet, the shower, the floor, and everything, and just got this bathroom nice and clean again. was my first time using the pink stuff to clean grout and it worked amazing as you can see I just had a wet sponge and sometimes I would also use that tub and tile cleaner in the spray bottle but mainly it was just this pink stuff and it worked great now I need to work my way into the laundry room and scrub the grout in there as well but I didn't get to that today hoping to do that maybe some evening this week, but at least this bathroom is now clean. Here I'm showing you the after and how clean the grout and the shower is looking. It was worth all that work to finally have this bathroom nice and clean again. Okay, so now I'm cleaning the boys' bedroom, and they do tidy up their room every day, whether that's before they go outside to play, or before they go to bed in the evening, or if they want to watch a movie in the evening, their room has to be clean first, but they usually do a good job at cleaning it up at least once a day and making their beds. But you know, when kids clean up a space, it's not like how mom would clean up a space, so I like to come in here at least once a week and just reset their room, get things reorganized, and clean it really well, clean under the dresser and the bed and everything, just so that it's easier for them to maintain the room for the rest of the week. And these toy organizers are from Ikea. I will link them down below as well as the wallpaper, which is from Wall Blush. We have really loved these toy organizers. They've been awesome for keeping all the toys organized. This wallpaper has been great as well. It is holding up really well. It hasn't started to come off the walls or anything. It's been great. Um, and we've had it up here for, I think it's been three months now, I believe. And it was just the perfect accent for this big empty wall in their bedroom. I wanted to pull this chair out because it's been a while since I cleaned under here and behind of it and there was a lot of stuff back here. So I got all of that cleaned up and vacuumed behind there and then just continued working my way around their bedroom getting things tidied up and reorganized. And I did want to mention that when I do this deep clean of their room once a week, I usually have them help me because then I can show them, hey, when you're cleaning up your room every day, be sure you get the stuff under the dresser and don't throw things behind the chair and just kind of walk them through as I'm deep cleaning the room, they can help me and it just helps them to learn how to clean up their room a little bit better. But for the video, I am just cleaning the room by myself.
while I was in the bedroom getting it cleaned up and making the bed, I was unboxing these new bags that I got from Azaria, so I thought I would show them to you here as well um, because they are having a really huge spring sale right now, probably the biggest sale I've ever seen them have. So all of the items are 25% off site wide and some items are up to like 40% off. And I think it's if you use the code BLOOM, it's their spring sale. I'll have the code down below and also their website link. I always get questions about my diaper bag, which I'm not showing you here, but you've seen it in several other videos. It's the diaper bag I've used since Levi was born. It's from Azaria and I've really loved it, still using that, but I was just needing some smaller bags for when I run to town and running errands by myself and I just need something small for like my phone and wallet and keys. So these two little bags are going to be perfect for that. The one is a leather crossbody bag and then the other one is a belt bag in this really pretty tan color and I also have their travel bag as well. We've used that on several trips so anyway I just wanted to let you guys know that they're having that big sale because I'm always getting questions about my diaper bag so just wanted to let you know about that. So I cleaned up my bathroom and our bedroom and um, just did a quick clean in that bathroom. Nothing crazy, didn't scrub the shower or anything like I did in the other bathroom. Just wanted to do a quick cleaning, get the countertops cleaned and the toilet and vacuum the floor. got the robot vacuum going out here in the main area of the house just so that it could be sweeping while I continue on with the cleaning. It's nice to just run this every day or maybe every other day just to help to keep up with the mess on the floor with three little boys. The floor needs cleaned often so having that robot vacuum going can just really help to maintain the floor. was having the boys put away their laundry as I was folding it and they're getting old enough now that they can fold some of their laundry as well and they can fold towels and washcloths. My two older boys are eight and five and one of their main chores in the house is to empty the dishwasher. That's something that they always do. They can also vacuum. They help with the laundry. They tidy their room. They can help to tidy off the countertops. Kyle's chore every day is to gather the eggs. They help to feed the chickens. Kyle loves to water my plants, so I let him help me take care of that. And there's just a lot of little chores that they can help with around the house. Okay, so I am working in the dining room now. And like you saw in a previous video, Recently, a contractor came and finished up the drywall work on this wall here in the dining room. And there has also been a lot of construction happening in my office through that doorway. So this whole dining room just kind of had a fine layer of drywall dust on everything. So I just wanted to go through and dust everything, get it all clean. I cleaned the table, the legs of the table, the chairs, vacuumed the floors, shook out the curtains, dusted the curtain rods, and just tried to get all of that drywall dust out of here. going to pause the cleaning to make supper. I'm just making an easy lasagna for supper. I already had this ground beef cooked in the fridge and so I just had to dump that in the pan, added some ketchup, seasonings, pasta sauce, and let that simmer for a little while. And then I just layered the noodles and the meat sauce in a 13 by 9 dish. So I started with the meat sauce and then I did noodles 
and then we like to do a layer of cottage cheese or ricotta cheese and then just continue repeating those layers and top with mozzarella cheese and Italian seasoning. Just a really easy supper that everybody likes and I want to start freezing more meals especially when I make casseroles or lasagnas like this something that's easy to make double of and then I'll just make two put one in the freezer and then we can have one for supper and when I make a big dish in a 13 by 9 pan like this we can have it for two meals so we had this for supper and then also for lunch the next day Lasagna is done baking and I also toasted some buttered garlic bread to go on the side and we had a salad just a really easy delicious supper so the last thing I'm going to get done today is to mop this office because like you could see there was a lot of drywall dust just tracked everywhere in this office in and out the door so I wanted to get this floor mopped and that is all the cleaning that I got done on this day. I hope that you enjoyed this whole house cleaning video and hopefully it gave you some cleaning motivation and inspiration today. Don't forget to go and check out Ritual and you can use my link and code down below to get that discount. And thank you for watching. We appreciate each of you so much and I'll see you next week on Tuesday with a new video. Bye.